What up, players? It's Wolf Boss Tay up in this mud. It is Sunday, October 27th. And I guess that means it's time for me to start my Spooky Toberfest. <laughs> so, I was um, all geared up to paint and build a flying hive tyrant, but I don't know if you guys know this, but um, it does not come with twin link devourers, which I was actually planning on building. So, when I was like opening the kit and looking at it and figuring out how to build it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna build it with two twin link devourers. I saw that they just it didn't come with it. So I realized I was ha I would have to change my uh, Spooky Toberfest entry because I don't want to build a suboptimal hive tyrant, flying hive tyrant that I can't um, that I can't can't you know play with or sell if I want to sell it later on on eBay or something. So I decided, well maybe I'll just do something else for my Spooky Toberfest entry. And here is that something else. It is a conversion kit for Death Guard. Uh, and these are Death Guard in 40k, which means that they're all mutated and gross looking. And um, I, I wanted to go over with them, go over them with you, build one up, show you what it looks like, and then uh, get started into painting them. So, uh, some of you might have seen I did a Plague Marine unboxing, and um, the fine cast Plague Marines are just not as good, I think, as these Death Guard Plague Marines, because for whatever reason, the sculpts, I think, are just not that great. There's a couple of good ones, like this one, Gas Mask Fellow. I think he's fantastic, but uh, some of the other models, just they don't look very nergly or very good to me. Uh, and it could be because of body or posing, but like this guy's helmet, their helmets in general are not very good, except for this one. And they don't really screen Death Guard to me. I started painting one up, okay, here's something that's really spooky, so avert your eyes. I painted up this guy in a kind of mutated and sickly bone colored color scheme. Haven't really finished him yet, um, but yeah, I'm just not having a good time painting them because they, they just don't really appeal to me that much. I did take some, as an experiment, I took some Astro Granite texture paint and I textured him a little bit to look like he's all rusted and, and rotting and I'm gonna eventually take some brown paints and, and paint up these rust spots. And then I dipped it in Army Painter's uh, dark tone shade, quick shade. But uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not having very much fun with, with, with these models. So I thought I'd pick up these Plague Marine Death Guard models uh, conversion kit and I gotta say I really like them because they kind of tie in the heresy era armor to the, uh, the, the Plague Marine aesthetic and heresy stuff is really big now because of all the stuff the Forge World is doing and it's just really great so let's let's dive into it shall we you've got 10 torsos here and we're gonna take a look at each one they have these old style spiky helmets with the look they look like mark 3 armor for the faces and they've got like tubes hanging out corroded see this is what the the, the plague green model should look like their armor rotting and corroded what looks like battle damage that's slowly slowly rotting through here tubes and pipes filtering poison and gases up into the mask just so gross so awesome And the thing that is so fantastic about this is that it's all different. The Plague Marines kit from Games Workshop looks like it was done in, in I don't know, maybe like the 90s. They don't look very new as compared to these guys. Oh, look at this hole in the head. And so they don't, they don't have as much stuff on it. They're not as clean as Father Nurgle's sigil. Uh, they don't look as, as polished. Um, they look kind of, kind of sloppy. Uh, these all look really, really well done, though. More rotted, corroded armor that you can do a really cool job painting. Uh, this is eye lens has been blasted out. So you can only get this through Forge World, if, if you didn't know. You would have to go to Forge World's website. If you go to Games Workshop, you can get the, the Plague Marines kit that I unboxed a little while ago, but if you want to build up these guys, you're gonna have to get a Forge World conversion kit. 
and then you're gonna have to get a box of Chaos Space Marines or um, or just get the, the legs, the arms, some weapons and backpacks. This is my favorite one, as I'm sure you've seen him before, it's the champion. He doesn't have a, a helmet, his face is all melted, and um, he's got like tendrils and like the, look like fleshy tentacle looking things. Oh, so good. Let's zoom up even more. So, in the time that I have left, I've got a couple days left, I'm going to try building and painting up at least one of these guys, hopefully a squad, and that will be my Spooky Toberfest entry. Thank you guys for watching, and um, for those of you who joined into Spooky Toberfest, I hope you're having a good time. And for those of you who still haven't finished your projects, like me, um, now is the time to really buckle down and get to it. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you know what I'll do? I'll do a little uh, time lapse now and um, do a little build section for at least one of these guys. Okay, stick around. So here we go. We started building our one test figure. I did just straight super glue and after this I realized that I'd really gotten a kind of like the plastic putty from Vallejo as a kind of sealer. So I started doing that with the backpack, put just a little bit in. Uh, this is when I realized that if you don't clean the tip of your plastic putty bottle then um, it gets clogged up pretty fast. So I always have a little piece of brass rod around, put in some super glue there and done. Now this was when I first decided to just assemble them like a Chaos Space Marine out of the box. About after, about maybe the third or fourth figure I decided I wanted to start converting the arms so that they would be at a little bit of a different pose but also help to reveal or showcase the awesome torso sculpting. Otherwise it could just be, you know, a mutated Mark III helmet um, and not the whole torso. You kind of want to show off the whole thing since Forge World stuff is so good. So there's some plastic putty first and then some super glue to seal it. Uh, super glue for the torso connecting to the arms because it's resin. And then I do put a little bit of plastic glue on the shoulders because the plastic glue will bond the arm to the shoulder pad. Uh, not sure if that's the most uh, effective way to do it, but I, it worked for me throughout all of the models that I've used. Plastic glue for any plastic parts that need to be put together, or plastic cement rather and super glue for anything that joins up against the resin. Here's where I decided to trail out the, the barrel of my bolter. First I use a very sharp X-Acto knife to put a little bit of a hole and then I drill it with a pin vise. Very effective and makes a great little effect. Then I you have to clip the little handle or trigger part and then glue that baby on. I think here's when I realized, oh, I kind of want to do a, a bayonet to uh, signify the, the blight knife or the plague knife or whatever it's called. So uh, I also did a Chaos Space Marine, the, that little uh, attachment. I'm trying to figure out where to put it because it has grenades on it. And after I did this and decided it didn't work, I mean, they're too nurgly, they wouldn't use regular grenades. I decided to do uh, human heads or zombie heads as the plague grenade, blight grenades. So here I just clipped off the little piece that's on the bottom of the bolter, clipped off the handle of the knife, and then applied a little bit of glue right underneath the barrel, and you can secure it with the little pommel of the knife, and it put, goes on really nicely, and uh, makes makes a nice, sharp, pointy little, little piece there. Excellent. For the last part, I decided to just glue the um, glue the guy to a, make a cork base. So it's a piece of cork, uh, cork board you can get from any arts and crafts or supply store. Uh, people sell cork boards to be used as bulletin boards and or for art projects and they are perfect because one of them only costs a couple dollars and it's so big and because you, you use it as a giant board that it, it will last you for a very very long time for a couple dollars of investment. Super glue it to your base, and I didn't pin this guy to the base, but I explained it in the last clip of this video. A really secure way of of 
placing your models onto the bases is by drilling a little hole in the bottom and pinning it there with some super glue. It, it, it'll increase the bond rather than just having. See this guy right now, if I was to take him out and mishandle him, he, his feet would rip off the end of the cork board and it's not that good. Hey, hope you guys liked it. Okay, so I finished building up all my guys and I want to show them to you. I put them on cork bases, oops, as you can see. And a lot of them I decided, if, as you watch the sped up version that I didn't like, that the torsos would be hidden if I had the bolters slung across the chest. So after a lot of minor alterations and some bits, I used all the heads from the Nurgle Plague Bearers box. There are some free ones on rings. I also took, uh, snipped off the bottoms the ones that were on the bottom of there's a banner pole I can show it to you right here that has two heads on it so I just clipped the bottom ones and you've got light grenades instant light grenades just um, model them up and justify them that the plague marines fill the fill the skulls with poisons and toxins and use them as grenades when they explode at their enemies so I also put them on cork uh, I pinned them the first one that I showed you that I was making I did not pin but the rest of these guys, I pinned them on uh, using a, a pin vise drill and some, some brass rod. You just drill the bottom of the foot and stick a little bit of the rod into the hole, snip off a little bit of extra so you've got a little bit pin and then you can jab them into the cork. Okay, so that's my first legionary. Here's a second one also holding a blood grenade. Some of them I had to actually uh, take my clippers and clip their hands at the wrists to reposition their wrists or at their elbows to reposition their elbows so you have more of an open stance and you can see all that lovely forge worldy goodness there some of them also you have to snip their shoulder snip them at the shoulder and uh, turn the arm out because the arms are meant to be slung across the body so that way you get a more open pose then you have to just be a little bit more finicky with the shoulder plates Here's uh, another guy with a blight grenade. I decided to only build seven of them because seven is Nurgle's lucky number. So, also I didn't want to paint the whole ten if I decide to do these guys for the the Spooky Toberfest challenge. Oh, this bandit's a little droopy. There we go. But love the models. I love the old Mark III look of them. I think Forge World did a fantastic job with them and uh, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoy the uh, Plague Marine conversion kit and building them up as I've shown you. I highly suggest that any Nurgle players out there definitely get them. If you're gonna run standard Plague Marines, uh, I don't think it would be worth the investment. You can just take a regular Space Marine squad and paint them up in drab greens and browns and call them your Plague Marines. But if you're a Nurgle player, uh, you could definitely use them, use these, these torsos you could even use them for champions, chosen, anything like that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later.